all right, I love this thing. Um, this is a way of not necessarily analyzing data, but sort of mapping one range of data to another range. We already looked at the, the um, uh, scale object, which lets you do a linear mapping between one input range and one output range. So that's really convenient a lot. But sometimes you want to graphically draw the, uh, the output. So this is an object called function. And it's just a little graphical object that lets you draw these, this function curve. It's not a curve. It's a, just lets you draw this graph. And you can then use that graph in a bunch of ways. But one thing you can do is you can, like, so right now the gra this um, graph is set, has a, a left to right range of 1,000 and an up to down range of 1. So 0 at the bottom, 1 at the top, and then 0 at the far left and 1,000 at the far right. So I have this number, this scroll bar here, sorry, this slider is set to go from zero to a thousand. Okay, so when you pipe in 135 here, it's going to go to 135 in this function graph and give you the number that corresponds to where the uh, where you're crossing the line. So if we go to here, I'm up as far as I can go. So it's it's saying at 57 the level is at one. Uh, if I go over here to 335, my level's down here at zero. Uh, and then you can see it ramp up as I scroll across the graph, it's giving me the corresponding number. So this is pretty awesome for when you wanna like adjust volumes or just map a data range to another data range, but in a wonky way, yeah. like in a weird, strange way. So um, you can shift click on these bubbles and they disappear. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could use this in, in place of scale. Uh, boy, it would be really strange. But yeah. In this case, it's going to just flip the range. So when this is up, the other one's down and vice versa, right? Um, or if you just wanted it to like do nothing, you could do this. Up is up and down is down, right? Right, I mean, right. A linear mapping. Um, but, I mean, maybe you want to have a slow build. So like maybe over time it ramps up and maybe you just need, for some reason, you need your lights to get brighter mm -hmm. in, in this way. Bless you. Excuse me. Um, so anyway, yeah, that, no, I love this function thing. And you can drive, you can have the same number drive a bunch of functions. So like, let's say you've got two light bulbs and you want them to get brighter in different ways. You could have, uh, you know, one of them is going to get bright and then get dimmer. Uh, and you can see that the, I can drive both of these with the same thing. Nice. Right? Nice. Anyway, all right, so that's really useful in a lot of different for yeah. a lot of different things that you might want to do. I feel like there's a lot of application. Now you for want this. to go back and redo I, some projects. Well, that and like my kind of I'm just thinking of like you're talking about hooking it up to lights and how you could just kind of control all of these things and it's really fun. That's mm -hmm. all. Fun, mm -hmm. just fun, fun, fun.